Hey everyone, so I've got another uh, Naked Urban Decay um, video for you guys today. So I decided to kind of talk to you about two products um, that I've been using. Um, the first product I'm going to talk to you about is the Naked Flush Palette, which is basically a face uh, palette. Now inside of it you have a blush right over here, a highlight and sort of a bronzer... Oh, you see my room, uh, a bronzer contour color. Now I've used this for maybe a couple of times already. I love the highlight. The highlight is very, um, it's kind of a shimmery champagne rosy color, almost a rose gold color. Beautiful color, I love it so much. The blush is, I would say, a rosy color. It's a deep rose color though. It's very pigmented. Um, it's really, you need, if you're fair like me, you need to make sure that you tap off the excess, even swirl it a little bit on the back of your hand to remove a lot of product because it's super pigmented. Other um, range of skin colors, like your, um, well, yeah, your skin color, if you're more um, medium to dark, you'll love this blush. I love this blush, but it, if you're fair like me or even fairer, you need to very, very be gentle with this color. Next, you have the contour slash bronze color, which I'm not too sure if I like, to be honest. It's a little bit, hmm, it's a little bit orange. It's, it reminds me of the color um, Disobey blush from Elamasca that Nikki Tutorials, my sister, always uses. Yeah, it's very, very um, similar to it. It's a matte finish. I like it if you decide to um, warm up the skin a little bit, but as an actual contour or um, bronzer, like you want to build up your the bronze of your skin, it's not my favorite product to be honest, because it's quite sheer and it's a little bit on the orange side. So if you have, I would say like a rose undertone to your skin, this might not be the bronzer for you because it definitely has a little bit of orange to it. If you're on the olive side, you'll love this because it's just going to warm up the face. You know that olive, you need some gold and some orange to kind of warm up your face. So you'll love this to death. Um, I don't see a dark skin tone girl using this because it, it might be just too light or it won't even show. You might want to use it if you are very, very dark. You might want to use this as a highlight underneath the eyes because it's matte. It could work for you. The... Um, the highlight is universal, so uh, it's just the perfect shimmerness. It's universal if you're a dark skin tone or fair as fair, you'll love it. Blush also, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's a matte finish. So blush is also universal, but like I said, if you're fair, go easy with it. So this is um, my small review of the Naked Flush Palette. Once again, the packaging of Urban Decay, it can go wrong. I've always, well... It's actually a new brand to me, but the packaging just is heaven to me. And like I, I mentioned in previous videos, packaging to me is important. Uh, the palette is very, very sturdy. It's like it stays in your hands, not too big, not too small. Love this. Next product is the Naked Skin uh, Beauty Balm. That looks like this. Once again, the packaging is lovely. It's like a bronzy rose gold finish. This actually reminds me of the CC cream from Annabelle that I've reviewed. Now this doesn't, um, it says on it, DNA repair, optical blurring, oil free. Now I've tried this um, three times already. I love it. Uh, I've used it on its own and I've used it uh, with a base underneath with my Annabelle CC cream. And this is a very, um, watery so I guess there's a I don't have the list of ingredients in it but it's very watery if you just see so it's a lot like the CC cream from Annabelle but th this definitely has more coverage than a CC cream or uh, a base and the smell is actually very similar to the CC cream from Annabelle as well so I like uh, using BB creams that are very liquidy because they tend to have more water, water, water in them. So this is why I love it so much. Does this compare to other uh, BB cream out there? Um, I would say it's a nice 
watery BB cream if you like the oil free BB creams you'll love this does it um, beat all of the other BB creams um, I'm unsure to be honest I just know for me on my skin I love the feel of it because it's so watery uh, it's definitely one of the um, more high-end um, BB creams out there but I love it I would definitely recommend it if you want to spend a little bit more money on your BB cream that has a nice coverage you might want to try this uh, the color of it, I don't know if they have a lot of, I think they only have one color. I'll insert it in the description box below. But, um, yeah, it's nice. It just gives you a very nice tint and it's a warm, uh, even though I'm fair, it gives you like um, a nice tint to your skin. Like it kind of warms it up without looking, at it or looking orange. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Love this. Uh, and love this but need to be careful with this so hopefully you enjoyed and um the naked th thing that's going on out there all naked every day or day seven days is um kind of catching up with me i'm loving it to death so uh enough blabbing hopefully you have a nice day and i will see you guys later